Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our live view series. And luckily, it looks like Phoenix just came out with a brand new uh, version of live view. So I'm going to show you guys how we can update and take advantage of that. Of course, our first step is to bump our live view version. And let's do a mix depth skit. And then, of course, we need to CD into our assets. Force install. Uh, latest version of Phoenix Live View. Now there's quite a few big changes. One of these is uh, quite interesting. I'll show you that. And that is that they happened to remove the CSS. Uh, I didn't see any mention of, the, of this, but when I started playing around, I did notice that this is now gone. But do not fret. There is a way around this. Now I'll show you how to do that. So what we need to do is we need to actually go to our package.json and let's add in. Um, they're recommending to use this library called in progress. O2O. You run this you just need to do an npm install I'm just going to use this button it's the same thing when you do that we have to actually still pull in the CSS for that so we just basically replace that with our in progress in progress .css to pull that in and then finally we need to hook up everything so we need to open up our JavaScript. And the way you hook this in is uh, not, not too bad. So we need to actually basically import in progress from in progress. And then uh, before we connect, we want to actually listen. For Phoenix page loading start. When that comes in, we need to do end progress dot start. And then we need to listen again. So I'm just going to grab all this. And there should be a stop event. And when it stops, we don't do stop, but we have to do done. So I'll show you in a minute why that is. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the live socket on the window so we can access it to show you something else that's quite new. And that's probably the biggest changes so far. So once we start this up, I should see everything running. So let's try to size up my window properly. So we go to here. Of course, everything's still working fine. Um, now, what's quite interesting and cool is you can start to get some interesting debug information. So if I go to the console, remove all this junk, you know, you can see some stuff happening, but we can take that log socket and we can say, uh, enable debug. And then we can start to get some really interesting information, basically what's coming over the update. So you can start to see all that stuff. And they also have enable profiling. Now what this does is you'll start to see how long does it take for certain events to happen, right? So when uh, Morphdom patches the DOM, you'll see how long things take. So not super useful, but at least you'll have an idea about what things are kind of expensive and you can start to tweak your live views with it. So these are probably the biggest changes. There is one other change, which is I think not super important, but could be useful. 
uh, when you go to your live view component, so I did make a live view component quite some time ago. Uh, it should be called user row, sorry. So live user row. They added in this thing called myself, so I can say user and then there's this at myself. So you can point to yourself from a component that is. You see when I refresh this, that the myself will automatically basically add in that zero over here, and you can actually use that in your rendering. So you see over here, here's my idea of user zero. So that already comes in. Yeah, and so it's a very small update, but actually some interesting things in terms of performance and, and some more um, bug fixes also. So this is Alan from Plangora. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai ge duck man all. Yo wenti ji da wen wo.